All right, I'm live on Facebook. You're looking at the uh, Tomi Karama. You're even looking at uh, a little Christmas tree that my daughters made me as a little gag. There's all kinds of goofy things like dad gets packages and so there's popcorn in the tree. Um, see that? Little popcorns in the tree. Hi, Jason. How are you? Okay. Uh, I have a few things to show. One that I teased this morning I'm really, really excited about. I said Christmas came early. Definitely did. Um, that's this thing here. We're going to move that back. I did want to show you guys a couple of Tomica Limited Vintage. I did take advantage of the Japan Booster Sale. That was, uh, what, uh, around Black Friday. Got uh, a couple of the Toys Club models, which are a little more... Um, they're specific to uh, this toy museum in Yokohama. And they do these special liveries for these and decos for these uh, models. And uh, I got three. I got this uh, Toy Republica. Publica? Publica is how I would say it in Portuguese, right? No um, Dotson Bluebird 1000 police car. And one that I've been very excited about. The Prince Skyline 1500 in a racing livery. You want to see that one? Okay. Because I do. Okay, put that aside. There's the box. Prince Skyline. Toys Club. And writing that I don't understand. So, um, yeah, these models don't pop up very often. So, I'm really excited. I don't know what year this one was released. Bad, huh? Racing Skyline plays homage to the to the prince that um, what was it raced a Porsche almost beat it. Look at those steelies on there, isn't that awesome? Anyway, we'll put that in the Tomika Rama. It's more appropriate than Hot Wheels, right? So, um, okay, that's those. I even have some Hot Wheels, guys. I got some brand new Hot Wheels that, are, that just came in today, too. But let's look at this, all right? As you can tell, IGmodel.com. It's an ignition model, as is this. I don't collect 143, but I had to have this model. And I got this one from, I believe, Model Citizen Diecast, which is a great website. Run one run by Patrick Strong. I got this from him. Bought this from him. Uh, it's probably been about two or three years now. Modelcitizendiecast.com. I'm just giving them a like. I'm not. There's no sponsor here. I just think they're a great website. So, and he specializes in larger scales. So just check that out. I don't think. Oh, let's see if I can open this. So this is the only ignition model I have. These are resin models, so they don't open or anything. But because they're resin, the details on these are just insane. So, I mean, just, it's, it's otherworldly. I mean, it's just, it's, look at the wheels on it. Even the wheels are licensed. The Watanabe's there, they're licensed. I love that they did. So they do they do some cars stock and they do some cars modified. This GTR, obviously with the black grill and black rear, is modified. So I just anyway, I don't plan on having a lot of these. I won't have a lot because they're they're not cheap. But I did order one more from Japan Booster. They do sell them. Like I said, just if you can find them on sale, take it. But it doesn't happen. So let's go ahead and I will unveil my next one. As you can probably imagine, it's going to be JDM. I don't think the choice I made is a huge surprise.
ignition model, igmodel.com. And of course, Hakoska. There I am, see me a reflection in there? Hi. All right. Let's go ahead and these models are limited. I think they're numbered. Maybe here. Six forty eight. All right. There you go. I'll take the plastic off so it doesn't get so reflective. Four door Hakoska Skyline. I mean, look at that. The detail. Like I said, they're done in resin. But you can see because they're done in resin, they can be so crisp in all the details. So I wanted the two I wanted two of the signature cars. So I went with the Hokoska PGC ten. Just so detailed. <laughs> I'm I'm looking at this for the first time with like you guys are, so I'm kind of enjoying looking at it. Isn't that awesome? Like I said, I, they're so expensive, but I thought it was worth having at least these two. Maybe one day I'll get another one. But I thought having these two signature Skylines was worth it. And I just like how they were, how they're done. So, so that is my new ignition model. I'm going to see it. I got to get, I guess I have to take these stickers off. To take it off of the platform. Okay, you guys let me know. Should I take this off? I'm not going to do it now. Because I want to figure out how to carefully do it. Because I do want to display these. And I want to display them properly in the on this leather um, base here. But if you guys want me to try and take them off, I will. I'll try. Okay? So I'm going to put that here. You guys let me know. Or just say, John, don't do it. Don't do it. Leave them as is. Which I'm tempted. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to go with that now. Alright, real quick. These Hot Wheels came from the UK. If you know that uh, the UK got batches D and E. We've already done the D case opening, but they got batches D and E together on a short card. And I was so fascinated with the new Hot Wheels wheels. I asked you know, JCKY Photography to send me a couple. He went looking. So he got a couple of the new Hot Wheels. We've already seen the Fugu Z. There it is on short card. That's kind of cool. But I, there was two cars with new wheels, and I thought it would be fun to get them. So, these are the two. So, I wanted, just, I wanted to see the Tesla. And I'll open these and photograph them later. But there is the Tesla Model X. Right there. And they put the new wheels on it, which I think is kind of cool. I, this is, might be a slightly tuned, right? But I do think this one looks better than the... Um, Model S, right? The well, the Matchbox is great, but the Hot Wheels is a little too modified. I think this one's nice and clean, and I like that they do debuted it in white. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Okay, so there's that. So new model, new wheels. But I'll tell you, the one I've been most fascinated with is the 56 Ford truck. Because, A, it looks amazing. That kind of barn find look with the matte gray and that rust on it. And B, it has the new wheels on it. Can I get, let's see. Those new deep dish steelies, which are just so awesome. Should I open it? Give me five yeses in ten seconds and I'll open it. Five, four, three, two, there's one. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I'll do it. Okay, I'm going to open it. How about those wheels, huh? Rust colored base. Hot Wheels, Hot Trucks. My goodness, those wheels are so detailed. I'm looking at them right now. Hopefully you can see how detailed they are. And they do, they are open. You can see, I got a little, there we go. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but they are open. See that? Can you hear my daughter's singing there? Open. Okay, that's special. That's a great, so that's where this model is going to debut. You're going to see these wheels on the um, Datsun uh, Fair Lady Roadster as well. Um, I know we've already had one color. The second color will have these wheels on it as well. These, these, these are awesome. I am sure we're going to see a ton of these. So, all right. Okay, that's everything that I have to open today. I've got lots of features. You guys want to see this one first? What is it? Tesla or the truck on LamleyGroup.com? Which one's first? You guys let me know. Just put them in the comments. Maybe I'll just do them together because it's the wheels, right? The wheels is the main theme there. So maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll feature them together. All right. But here's the gem, right? Okay. I'm a happy camper. That was my little die cast Christmas present right there for myself. And uh, it'll, it'll make this little duo a happy little duo. I'll see you guys later. Leave some more comments about what you want to see first. I'm going to feature this one too pretty soon. It all go on to the blog next week. Bye.